Today we're going to be fixing a bit of frame sway on a Buick Encore. In a previous video, we determined that the front end or unibody structure was pushed over about two inches. We'll be using a 10 ton champ frame straightener and there's a few companies out there that make dozer type straighteners like this. The way they work is you get the car up in the air, set it down on these pinch weld clamps and clamp it into place. Then this guy pushes against the bar or you can use chains while the frame straightener pulls. You can get a hand pump or you can get a foot pump and I suggest getting the foot pump because it makes it a lot easier. Sometimes it's better to leave parts on when pulling, and sometimes it's better to remove them. Today, we're going to remove everything but the fenders so we can see exactly what's going on. This type of frame straightener doesn't need floor anchors or pull pots, but it does need to push against a strong part of the vehicle as it pulls. So let's take a quick look at how it's set up for the first pull. The first pull is going to be pulling the bumper and frame rails to the left side or driver's side. And we can use a little pulley right here. This chain is hooked to the pinch weld clamps comes around here and goes to the bumper and as this frame machine pulls back it's going to pull sideways. We'll need to pull it until this bracket lines up with that flashlight. Here's a close-up of the frame rail on the passenger side and as you can see it needs to come to about here. And here we have a big hook hooked to the inside of the frame rail. You can see there's a kink right there. When we pull this to the driver's side, it'll hold that steady. It'll hold that in place. And here's the other end of that chain. Goes over this jack and down to a carburetor or an engine lifting plate that was bolted to the floor. And finally, here's the end of the frame machine. It pushes against the crossbar and these pinch welds. And it's also chained so it doesn't slide this way to the other pinch weld clamp on the other rocker. So we'll give this first pull a try and see what happens.
and now you can see it's starting to line up. When you think you're close, you can take a measurement with a tram gauge from a bolt that you know is good to the center of the bumper. And we'll go over here. We know this is good. And we're just a little bit off. I'd say we have to come half inch more towards the driver's side. Right there from this bolt up in the corner and now from this bolt let me get over there from this bolt we are just a little bit off just a little bit 
So we'll go just a little more. For this pull, I moved the pulley up a little bit, about five inches. And if you notice, we have some towels and, and shirts hung on the chains, just in case they break loose. And now for a quick measurement again. So from that bolt to this tab goes right in the center. And then from this bolt to that tab, that's about an eighth inch off, but we're going to call that good. For the next pull, we'll be using a hook like this. It's got three different hooks on it for smaller holes. And we'll be using this guy right here, which will fit in a hole. We need to pull this over just about a half inch. And we'll go one more time. and take a measurement. Next we'll be using a clamp like this to pull the core support over. After pulling and before adjusting the fenders and hood, we'll take a few measurements and make sure everything is square 
Any minor adjustments can be made with the alignment bar or a slide hammer, porta power, come along, or even a mini pogo stick. And we're going straight down to the floor with this tape measure. On this side we have 33 to the floor. And the same on this side. As for adjusting gaps, I'll be making a brief video on that and uploading it soon. At this point we're waiting on some parts, but in the meantime we'll be working on saving this hood as they're six to seven hundred dollars used. I hope you enjoyed this video on pulling unibody frames. If you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.